Oh, you're right. Take three. Back to the top. <clears throat> this. Hopefully, that's the last interruption. Because I'm getting sick of doing takes today. It's your weekly wrap up show. I'm your host, Bryce. Mr. Black. I like black shirts. Um, yeah, it's just typical stagehand slash photography kit. Black, you're not seen as much if you're on stage. So, yeah. And I've grown quite a liking to him. But, anyhow, there was no Wednesday game. It's getting a little bit close to certain things. The only thing on Wednesday was the netball. I will get to later in the show. For rugby league, it was the grand finale. Uh, Penrith Panthers took the win with a 26-24 against the Brisbane Broncos. Two points for the win. It's still a win. Give them the W. Go Penrith. Bunnings NPC, the men's rugby union local to New Zealand. And yes, I will continue to do some games from it. It's coming up quarter final time, semi final time, and final time, which means I will be doing a few more than typical. Uh, just because, hey, finals footy. Uh, you may have, I, I was going to mention this when I got down to the game uh, score for, for it, but you may have already seen it in social media and around the news, a picture depicting a broken Ranfurly shield. And a certain Magpies player Hawks Bay player bent over it. Honestly, it's a bit of wood. It can be repaired. It can look brand spanking new after the repair, which is going to be a tall ask, actually, of whoever's asked to repair it. But it can be repaired. It can be replaced. It's a piece of wood. It's not a huge lot of consequence in it, as coveted as it might be. Um, and it's coveted mainly amongst a select few teams of the National Provincial Championship in New Zealand. Hawke's Bay being one of them. Um... Honestly... Hawks Bay Rugby Union, paying to get it fixed. They're conducting a little bit of an inquiry into what actually happened. I think the thought there is along the same lines as my thought, where you're holding it and it's an accidental slip. You think you've got it firm, you think you've got it, and it just slips out of your hand. Um, that would be the best case scenario and most likely what did happen um i will keep my eyes open on the news and i will let you know next week what actually happened if there's anything come out of it if there's nothing come out of it well it doesn't go any further than this and social media get to trash talk because that's what Social media is really good at it's trash talking. Yes, I'm looking at you, Facebook. And now for the scores. Auckland didn't give Northland a scrap to get home by taking a 27-26 run. Hawks Bay 
did successfully win the Rampity Shield game against Wellington, 20 points 18, and brought the Log of Wood home. Log of Wood as it is affectionately known as. Um, Waikato dodged around Canterbury to win 37-35. Taranaki weren't, weren't bothered by North Harbour as they won 54-21. Otago used County's Manukau as a trampoline to bounce up and over them, winning 38-22. They are plenty doubt are thrashing to Tasman, 41-12. And Southland overcame the Manawatu defence for a 37-12 win. Man- I say overcame. Manawatu's defence isn't that much. Um, but anyhow, there's no Wednesday game this week. The quarterfinals are next week. I will be plucking at least a couple of games to to do on scoreboard from them. International rugby now into the men's competition. Uruguay beat Namibia 36-26, 10 points in it. Japan rivaled Samoa to win 28-22, so only 6 points. New Zealand made a statement, beating Italy 96-17. I'm not even going to calculate how many points that is. Eighty something <laughs> Argentina whooped Chile 59-5. CG scored an extra 5 points against Georgia, going 17-12 for one, for the win. Scotland took out the trash against Romania 84-0. That one's amazing. But, hey, <laughs> Romania, not, not exactly an A-tier team. Uh, Australia smacked Portugal's proverbial bum, 34-14. South Africa kicked Tonga to the proverbial curb, 49-18. And if you look back through my episodes, you will see a pattern starting to emerge. It is getting closer and closer to quarterfinals, preliminary finals, semi-finals, and all that shiz. Um... You'll be noticing a little pattern here. There are teams that will not make it. There are teams that... But I I mean, in the Rugby World Cup, if you if you had just two wins, two, two games where you didn't score one goal, you did not score one point, you might as well just pack up and go home. That's the... That's the crux of it. Dog eat dog in that competition. And there are dogs being eaten. Well, teams, at least. And the women, the New, the New Zealand women, the, the Black Ferns are playing internationally at the moment. And they played Australia. The New Zealand Black Ferns took the Australian Wallaroos to task 43-3. Um, that was a heck of a game, actually. I did that one on live scoreboard without commentary. I'm actually wishing I had done it with commentary, because that would have been freaking cool. But anyhow, more international rugby next week, and there might be a women's game in there with a little bit of commentary. On to the netball. Tani Jamison trophies just wrapped up um so i didn't do the wednesday game on scoreboard i thought i was going to be able to but life got in the way and i was dog tired at the end of wednesday anyhow so that wouldn't have helped game two which was wednesday saw the tiny jamison trophy with New Zealand winning 57-36, making Friday the decider. G- 
Game 3 was the decider. Saw New Zealand win the trophy 59-52. I say win because I'm not sure who had it before. I think New Zealand did, so New Zealand keeps it. But, yeah. I just need to keep going. Um... Next up, the Constellation Cup, starting on the 12th of October. Yes, we are in scary season already, people. Because the year gone. It's gone fast, I tell you that. Um, the Constellation Cup is New Zealand versus Australia. so. And the first two, I believe, are in Australia. And the second two games are in New Zealand. So, it's going to be a little bit later game times on at least the first two. I will, I will update you as they come up. And in the cricket, there was a day-nighter warm-up game. New Zealand versus Pakistan. New Zealand won by five wickets. I'll keep an eye on the New Zealand cricket and let you know how it's going every week. I do have access to Sky Sport now. Um, so I am able to do a little bit of commentary. That only lasts for about a month. And I'm going to have to re-sub to it. Or renew the sub to keep it up. Otherwise, it's going to disappear and my commentary is going to disappear as well. And I will be a few minutes, a little bit late from the, um, from the actual game time. So, yeah. Thank you all for your support, everybody. As always, the monetary donations link is in the description. Or you can buy me a coffee. I will. I'll figure out how to put the coffee link, in, as well. Um. In this game, coffee is life. Coffee is blood. So yeah. The next game for the life scoreboard. Hmm. Likely to be Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure at the moment. I am not sure what it will be covering. But I can assure you it will happen in the next weekend. Um, yeah. As always, all the... All the weekly score updates will be on the same channel right here next week. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss another one. Thumbs up and leave us a comment below. How did I do? Is there anything I could do to improve? Is there a sport that is... Is there a team that you want me to cover? On live scoreboard. Is there a team I should be watching. And reporting on. The, the latest scores with. Or. Yeah. Is there a competition you want me to. Follow. Let me know down in the comments. That being said. That is it for this week. I. We'll be around next week, same time, same bad channel. It's been your weekly wrap-up show. I have been your host, Bryce, signing off. Bye-bye.